and welcome to another episode of What Travis Says. My name is Travis and let's talk about Doctor Who. More specifically, Christopher Eccleston's ever-evolving feelings about Doctor Who. As many of you know, Christopher Eccleston played the ninth Doctor in the revival of Doctor Who, the current incarnation after that movie that came out years before that nobody really wants to talk about. Eccleston was the Doctor for one year in 2005, the series revival. And unfortunately, Christopher Eccleston had some conflicts with some of the higher-ups in the BBC, leading him to only play the Doctor for one year and then parting ways in a not-so-friendly manner. The BBC published false quotes about him, he sued the BBC for years and years and years, they didn't get along at all. They, they probably still don't. But as we talked about a few videos ago, he did sit down to possibly have a role in the Day of the Doctor, the 50th anniversary Doctor Who special. Obviously it didn't end up happening, but hey, at least there were talks. But in his recent book, I Love the Bones of You, My Father and the Making of Me, Eccleston opened up more about the split with the BBC and recent healing that he's been going through. Explaining that the split between him and the BBC made him feel bitter, betrayed, that he knew that Doctor Who was the best thing to ever happen to him professionally, but things didn't really go as planned. Instead of a so-called learning curve, Doctor Who for him was a plunge down the well, and in recent years he's only just been able to climb up and see the sunshine. But one of the big things that he talks about that is definitely worth noting is that he has recently been going to conventions. This is something that we talked about last year, attending his first convention as a guest and he's actually been doing a few more since then. He states that he was always wary of going to conventions as a guest because he only wanted to earn his money from acting. But he says that the incredible attention from his fans is therapeutic. The fact that they pay attention to his entire catalog, his giant filmography of everything he's done, and not just Doctor Who. Our friends in the North, 28 Days Later, Second Coming, he loves that people come to talk to him about his entire body of work. He said, forget producers, forget politics, these are people who have seen me do my stuff and they want to shake my hand. And there's something beautiful about an actor coming to terms with that facet of their life. They don't realize just how many people they touch with their acting, with their filmography. They don't realize it until they're put in a situation where they can actually meet those people. These fans will travel from all over the place to these conventions to visit their favorite actors and actresses just to meet them, to explain to them how much their work means to them. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I feel like Christopher Eccleston is just an incredibly humble and down-to-earth dude. I would love to be able to meet him one day. Not sure how likely that's going to be, but hey, Maybe he'll come to a convention nearby. In the comments down below, let me know which Doctor Who actor or actress you would love to meet at a convention and why. Let's see, I've already met Sylvester McCoy and Peter Davison, but I would love to meet Tom Baker, Peter Capaldi, David Tennant, Matt Smith, and Christopher Eccleston. Anyway, that's it for this episode of What Travis Says. My name is Travis. Thank you for listening to what I have to say, and you will see me tomorrow.